Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from MoneyBuysDreams.com and I am back again with another review. This time we're going to be doing a Shop Mozo review and I'm going to be showing you everything that you could ever possibly want to see about Shop Mozo, okay? So as you may know, I have a free training course that shows you how to start making uh, your first thousand dollars per month with the Amazon affiliate program and I'm always checking out Amazon affiliate store builders to help you to use the best one available, okay? So, so far, um, I have Shop Express that I recommend to my students, and Shop Mozo is a brand new one. It's really kind of an upgrade from Shop Express, uh, but this one is way better in my opinion, uh, just because of the simple fact that it's cloud-based, that means there's nothing to install, so you get started way, way faster. Um, and the fact that you don't need to buy a domain name and buy web hosting makes it cheaper on you as well, okay? Um, so before I get started with this Shop Mozo review, I wanted to let you know that if you want to get access to Shop Mozo at any time and start putting it to use for yourself, then you can uh, click on the link in the description of this video. I've left you a link down there. It'll take you straight over to the Shop Mozo website where you'll be able to get instant access to Shop Mozo and start using it right now to create your own Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress affiliate store very, very quickly as you're fixing to see. Okay? Um, so... I am using the enterprise version of Shop Mozo, and I'll show you some of the uh, features that uh, it comes with and, and some of the options that are available, okay? Um, so for starters, I would highly recommend that you get the unlimited store license, and that's uh, just because you'll be able to create an unlimited number of these stores, and once you put up one and see how easy it is to use, uh, you're going to want to put up more and more and more and more, okay? So you definitely want to get the unlimited license, super uh, cost efficient, so the investment is very, very small for this, and, uh, and, and the deal that you're getting is huge okay um, so this is the early bird special so uh, you may see an increase in price later on um, so if you're seeing uh, this video right now uh, then this is the this is the day that shop mozo is actually rolled out to the public okay um, so you'll see a very low introductory price and then the price may increase later on so uh, make sure you lock in your price as soon as possible if you're even the least bit interested in uh, shop mozo because the price will be going up okay um, so like I said I'm using the unlimited uh, I have the pro version and the enterprise version um, I'm also going to be getting the uh, reseller and membership version as well. So I'm going to be upgrading to those right after I make this video. I didn't actually realize that I didn't have those two until I logged in here. So I'll be getting those two as soon as I finish this one up. Okay. Uh, but let me tell you a little bit about uh, some of the features that come with the Unlimited Pro and Enterprise real quick. Um, so with the Unlimited, like I said, you can uh, create an unlimited number of uh, stores. You'll be able to uh, automatically create curate products from Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress. Uh, you have a built-in slider. Uh, video reviews are curated from YouTube. You have built-in SEO settings. Uh, you can auto post your products uh, from your store to Facebook pages and timelines. You can create a product category and subcategory. You can add tags to the products for better search results. Um, it's 100% mobile responsive and uh, you have quick analysis with products and hits. Okay, uh, so I'll show you all that uh, stuff here in just a second. With the pro version, you're going to get 15 premium themes to add elegance to your affiliate stores, okay? So that means that you'll be able to uh, have a different look for each affiliate store you create. Or maybe you just find one that you really, really like and you just use that across all your stores. The option is totally in your hand uh, to do what you choose. But uh, you will need the pro version to get those 15 premium themes. Um, and then uh, with the pro version... Uh, you'll also need the pro version to add eBay and AliExpress affiliate products, okay? Um, so you'll be able to uh, set product automation rules uh, for eBay and AliExpress as well. And I'll show you a little bit about that whenever we get to uh, product automation. Um, and then you, you'll have the ability, uh, once again, to uh, auto, auto post your products to Facebook groups. Uh, you'll be able to monetize your product pages using uh, banner ads. So you can use Google AdSense or your own custom banner. Um, and you can upload images from your media library to product pages. Okay, 
really really cool stuff um, and then with the enterprise version uh, you're able to drive tons of viral traffic from Facebook Twitter and Instagram uh, you'll be able to have advanced in-depth analytics for products hits uh, page and affiliate hits and social campaigns auto curation of Amazon product reviews autopilot edition uh, of related tweets on product pages and you can earn more from your affiliate store with Google AdSense integration um, and manage and assign roles and privileges to up to five team members okay really really cool stuff because you can add team members who can help you manage your store okay then with the resellers version you you get to resell shop mozo and keep a hundred percent of the profits on the front end okay so uh they're basically letting you use all their sales pages all that good stuff all you need to do is uh, drive traffic to your affiliate link and you'll be able to make a hundred percent profits with the reseller version all right um and then with the membership, it's $27 per month, and you get five brand new premium themes delivered every month. Okay, you get to uh, start your own business with complete developer rights. Uh, you get to render affiliate store building services on Flippa and agency li with an agency license. Okay, um, you can uh, build. Uh, uh, you can have unlimited team management, so you can add unlimited number of team members. Whereas right now, I can only add five if I want to. All right. Um, so then I can, they can, or I can create, assign, and customize roles and privileges uh, for clients as well as my own affiliate stores. I can upload unlimited images to media library and enjoy lightning fast speed with the fast servers and 200 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. All right, and then also 24/7 customer support through the help desk and premium Skype support. All right, so all of that is included with the membership for $27 per month. And honestly, just just being able to get the support uh, is worth 27 bucks to me because if something pops up and I, I really need to get uh, some help with it, there there I go. I can I can send somebody a message on Skype. Okay, so that is an open book of what all is available. All right, uh, here you can see your plan usage and your payment history and all that good stuff. Okay, all right, um, and. Then next, okay, so what I want to show you is the store itself that I already have up and going. Uh, this is a drones-related store. So um, as you can see here, it's on drones.shopmozo.co. All right, so if you want to check that out for yourself, you can go over and look at it. Um, you can see I've got a category menu up here with subcategories going down uh, the side here. Um, it's all set up for me here, and here's the layout. Looks really, really nice, okay? Uh, let me show you one of the product pages here. All right, so as you can see on the product page, you have uh, all these images that your customers will be able to view once they land on one of your product pages, and they can actually zoom in and see it as well. All right, then there's a Buy Now button and an Add to Cart button. Um, so whenever somebody clicks the Buy Now button, they'll automatically be taken over to Amazon. Whenever they click the Add to Cart button, it adds this product to their Amazon shopping cart, okay? Uh, so they complete their transaction with Amazon, and Amazon handles all the rest from there. So you don't have to worry about shipping anything out or anything like that, okay? Um, and then the next part you'll notice is the product description. So it's a nice, easy, readable description here. Uh, you have tweets going down the side here related to drones and whatever your niche is. Uh, so I've got tweets related to drones on mine right now. Uh, then you have related tags. Like I said, it makes it uh, easier for search results. And then you have uh, automatically curated videos from YouTube. So these are like review videos of this drone. Uh, you can see this drone in action, all that good stuff. So your customers are absolutely going to eat this up whenever they land on your site. Uh, another thing that you'll have on your site is the product reviews pulled straight from Amazon, okay? So they can see uh, the review rating, how many reviews there are, and then they can read through the reviews from verified and other buyers, okay? Um, straight from your site, again. And uh, like I said, they have the ability to add this straight to their cart from your page, okay? Um, so then you have your related products and recently viewed products, all right? Now down here in the footer, you have your categories, uh, but you also have your customer services like your privacy policy, your terms and condition, and your contact us page. Then you have uh, your social 
uh, media uh, pages down here. So you're able to put in your own Facebook page, your own Twitter page, and all the other pages so people can reach out to you on social media. All right. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention on the home page was the sliders I was talking about a second ago. And you can see here that you have the option to put a uh, uh, call to action here and, uh, and shop now button and link that up to one of your categories or just a specific product if you want to, okay? Or you don't have to do anything at all. You can just have pictures that scroll across your, the top of your site. Now these will automatically scroll. Uh, so you won't have to do anything to make those automatically scroll or anything like that. Uh, they'll just automatically do it. All right, so as you can see here, it is a beautiful laid out site, okay? So let me show you some of the options that are available. Um, as I said before, uh, you have 15 premium themes if you have the pro version. Uh, so you can look at each one of them and they're easy to change out if you ever want to change one out. Um, I think right now I've got the strong orange. Uh, if I want to change that out to a vivid orange, then I just click on vivid orange and save. And then it'll update that for me. And when it updates it, then I can go over to my site and I can refresh it and it'll change this color of orange to a different shade. Okay. Now let's say I don't want the orange. I want uh, a dark blue instead. All right. I just click on dark blue and save and then I can refresh again. And there's my dark blue that I have, okay? And so that's going to turn all my uh, all my colors on my theme into a dark blue. All right, so there we go, and you can see. All right, um, so that is the theme settings. I actually like that vivid orange pretty well. I like to choose colors that match up with Amazon because I want everything to be as congruent as possible. All right. All right, so then if uh, you want to change out your sliders, add sliders, whatever, You'll have the ability to add five sliders. I only have three right now that I'm using, but uh, you can uh, add up to five. And like I said, you can put your tagline and call to action buttons on there uh, just simply by putting in the text, choosing the size of the text uh, that you put in and choosing what you want your button to say and what you want it to be linked to. You also have the ability to uh, change the colors of these things, okay? So you can uh, upload these very, very easily. And like I said, you have five of them that you can use. And uh, it's real simple to uh, switch out these images at any time uh, whenever you want to switch them, okay? Um, so for the banner ads, you'll be, like I said, you'll be able to use your Google AdSense code and have your banners show up on any page of your site. Or you can use a custom banner and you would just upload that here and then put your affiliate link or the link that you want to drive traffic to right here at the bottom, all right? And then you have your legal pages. So you would just put your legal pages in here where it says terms and conditions, privacy policy. Uh, then you have a category menu, okay? So this is really, really cool uh, because it allows you to set up your menu any which way you want to, okay? So I can click on all of those, add those. Um, and then for my subcategories, I can just drag those over to the side and right there. All right. Um, Let's see here. Oh, I got one more. I knew I was missing one. All right. And once I have it all set up, see, I can drag it anywhere I want to. I can uh, set it up any way that I want. And then I just click on update and that will update that menu for me. Okay. All right. And so that's all of the store design. Now we have the products tab. So if we go to all products, we'll be able to see a listing of every single product that we have added to our store. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to add products to your store here in just a second. Uh, but let me show you the, the products layout and how easy it is to edit any product uh, with just a couple clicks of the mouse. OK, um, so let me let this load up here. All right, so as you can see here, uh, you have your all your products, like I said, laid out for you. Uh, you can show 100 of them at a time if you choose to, um, and you'll be able to see what all is in your store. More importantly, you'll be able to edit these or delete them or just view them if you want to, okay? Uh, so what I want to uh, talk about in this section is how to edit these products. And all you have to do is go over here to the action column and click on the little edit button here. And you can see here that you can edit the title, the URL, the description, the category, the SEO settings, the tags, the images, uh, YouTube videos. Like if you uh, don't 
like the ones that are on there. Uh, you can go out and find your own and just put these in here. It'll override the ones that are on there. Uh, then you can use your own custom images, okay? So uh, really, really a uh, good feature to have is, uh, you know, being able to edit individual product pages if you choose to, okay? Um, and then the next thing you have is categories. So you can add categories uh, and subcategories very, very easily uh, with just a, a couple clicks of the button. So in order to add a category, all you need to do is go up here to add category, and I can put in a uh, new uh, category. So I can say kids drones or drones for kids okay uh, and then I want to make that my main category so I'm not going to select a category from here I'm just going to um, fill out the rest of this information the description the meta description and keywords and I'll come back and do that because uh, it's very simple to come back in and edit these categories and the uh, last thing you need to do uh, once you have all that filled in is turn this status on okay that turns the category on and makes it visible on your website and then you just add the category okay uh, so if I want to add a subcategory to my kids uh, drones uh, main category I can go back to add a category and I can say uh, 0 to uh, $50 okay I can just copy that main title and I'll select this time I will select my drones for kids uh, category here and I'll turn that on and this is going to make it a subcategory so zero to fifty dollars is going to be a subcategory all right so what that means is when I go back over to my site all right I go to all categories you can see my drones for kids in there and zero to fifty dollars all right uh, so very easy to do um, to add categories and subcategories all right and then tags it are very easy as well okay so I can add a tag here and I can just type in kids turn that on and add all right that way I'll be able to tag all of my drones for kids with just a kids uh, a kids tag okay very easy and once we get to uh, the add product section uh, then I'll be able to show you how to use that in action okay um, so next uh, I want to show you that you have the ability to automate uh, your products okay so you can add products on autopilot to your store by setting up automations okay uh, so what you need to do is choose where you want to post products from so I'm going to choose Amazon and then I'm going to choose uh, electronics all right and then I'm going to type in drones for kids all right I want to post one per day I'm going to start that today and I'll end it in a week okay uh, then I want it to post in my drones for kids category and publish now. Let me let me see these tags real quick. Let me set up my tag here. All right, and I have my kids tag in there, my category, and I'll just apply. So now I have this automation set up that it's going to go over to Amazon and find drones for kids on Amazon and post them to my store one per day every single day for the next week. All right. Uh, so that's super powerful because it allows me to be, uh, you know, out at the movies or, or wherever I want to be doing what I want to do and still have products added to my store. All right. Uh, so the next thing I want to show you is under the get traffic uh, section and it's the SEO. All right. So you'll be able to uh, fully SEO your store. It even has little tips over here. So you'll know um, you'll know whether to add text or take text away or whatever. Uh, you can put in your website name, the meta title, the meta description. Uh, the meta title and description are both right here. That's what will actually show up in Google. And then you can put in keywords that are related to your store. I think you can have up to eight different keywords, all right? And then you just save options, okay? So for product page, it's very simple to do the uh, SEO for it. You can choose from one of these three syntax options. Um, and all it is is basically a different layout for each one. So you have a dash in between here a bar in between here and just the product title here okay um, then you'll just save your options the archive page and the title page are the same way so you just choose your syntax that you want to use for those uh, with your XML sitemap you have the ability to download it or copy the sitemap link and then you can submit it to Google sitemaps or Bing uh, I mean you can submit it to Google Analytics or 
uh, Google Webmaster Tools is what I'm trying to spit out here, um, or Bing Webmaster Tools and get some really key insights on your site through those tools, okay? Um, and then for your RSS feeds, you have a individual feed for every single category and subcategory, as well as a feed for everything in your store. And you'll be able to copy these and then take them over to uh, pinging services, and you'll be able to ping these feeds uh, to get some uh, uh, immediate traffic and to index your links, okay? Um, so... That is the RSS feed. Then you have your webmaster settings like I was trying to spit out a second ago. Uh, you have Google, Bing, Pinterest, and Yahoo. And all you need to do when you sign up for those services is put your verification codes in here. That'll verify your sites or your stores for you. And uh, you'll be ready to rock and roll with those different uh, tools. You can also use analytics with your store, okay? So you can use Google Analytics. You can use any third-party uh, analytics as long as you have a tracking code for them. You can put in your Facebook retargeting pixel here. So if you're running Facebook ads, you can put in a retargeting pixel and remarket to the people who have visited your site before. And then you can use your Web Engage tracking ID right here if you happen to use Web Engage. All right, so super powerful features when it comes to SEO right there, okay? Um, so the next thing I want to point out, I know social is next, but I'm going to go to Facebook Group Finder and then we'll go back to social because the Group Finder has a lot to do with social, okay? Um, so the first thing I want to do uh, whenever I am looking for Facebook groups that I can post my products to um, is just type in a keyword. So mine is drones. So I'm just going to type in drone. What's that? What that's going to do is it's going to uh, show me all of the open groups for drones. OK, what I can do then is I can just go hit the plus key next to each one of these and it is going to add these to the list of Facebook groups. Uh, that I can post to all right so that when I set up my social campaign here in a minute uh, it will uh, Show me all of these groups and I can pick the ones that I want to post to uh, and, and all that good stuff. So um, You'll be able to get automated traffic uh, From Facebook and like I said if you're using uh, The enterprise version then you'll be able to get uh, traffic from Twitter and Instagram as well Okay um, so let's go back to social real quick and I'll set up a little sample campaign or just let you see one that I've already set up But it's pretty simple to set up. All right, so we'll set up drones for kids Here and then we'll select our drones for kids here. We'll enable auto post this will allow uh, Shop mozo to post products on Facebook for you on autopilot We'll set that to start today and we'll set the time for three o'clock We'll tell it to post one product every six hours, okay? Um, and that will be good. And then we'll go to next. All right. And then, like I said, these are all the groups that we joined uh, over in the Facebook group finder. So I can select all of these groups and then go to next. All right. And uh, then it's going to show me what my post is going to look like on Facebook, okay? Uh, so there we go. And that's what we're going to have. And, it's, and uh, it's just like we set up, it's going to post one post every six hours, okay? Then we'll just go to done. All right, now that's set up, ready to go. And I have that campaign here. I can edit that at any time by just clicking on the little edit button. I can change the number of products um, and I can change the number of hours. I can even set this to days, weeks, or months if I choose to, okay? Um, so very, very easy to edit, very easy to uh, set up. Um, and you can get some viral traffic from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter on autopilot, okay? Um, next, you have your media library. So you'll be able to upload images to this library. And then um, you can use these images on uh, product pages. You can use them in your sliders or wherever else. But this is where your images are stored, okay? And then you have your reporting section, okay? So this is going to show you an overview of uh, all of the products that are getting traffic in your store. That way you know which ones are uh, working out really good and you can uh, increase your marketing efforts for those individual products, all right? It'll show you the number of hits you're getting, which is the number of times people have landed on your page. And it'll show you the number of affiliate hits, which is the number of times someone has clicked the buy now button or the add to cart button for that product, all right? Uh, so like I said, this is an overview and you can look at that uh, for the week, the month, the year, or custom dates. 
Uh, with the products, this is just going to show you the posted products uh, and the drafts that you have uh, going to your store. Again, you can look at that by the day, week, or month. Uh, for the hits, it'll show you how many hits you're getting to your store. So how many product hits versus how many affiliate hits you're getting. Um, and you can look at that day, week, and month. I think custom as well. Yeah, and year actually. So uh, you can look at that any which way you want. And then social will show you how many, uh, how much social traffic you're getting from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay. Uh, so once we start getting traffic from there, we'll be able to see the stats in there. Okay. Um, and then you have a training library that has video training uh, available to you. So you have a couple different trainings here. Uh, then you have step by step. So you have your dashboard, your store design, products, automation, affiliate setting, reports, social settings, SEO, and team management. Pretty much just like I'm showing you right here, except for more in depth and uh, and it's over the shoulder as well. So you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. And then you have best practices, which really, really helped me a lot um, because I didn't know some of these things, honestly. Uh, so really helped me out to know um, how to not get my accounts banned, for instance. Uh, so definitely take the time to watch these best practice uh, videos as well, okay? Um, and then besides the training library, you also have an FAQ section uh, with some of the most commonly asked questions uh, in general and in, uh, in the software section, okay? Um, and then you have bonuses. So if you're looking for a Shop Mozo bonus to kind of sweeten the deal here, uh, then you have access to 15 different bonuses. It's really helpful if you've never done any type of Amazon affiliate marketing uh, or any type of marketing online at all uh, to go ahead and check out some of these like the Amazon affiliate profits, Amazon affiliate marketing, Amazon affiliate blueprint, and uh, you kind of dig into those. And then you have stuff like stock images and other tools that you can use uh, with your marketing, okay? Um, and then you have bonuses by partner and useful resources. Okay, so we're, we just got a couple more things uh, to go. Let me uh, get through those and then I will send you off to the Shop Mozo site so that you can get instant access to Shop Mozo and start using it for yourself right now. Okay, um, so I know that you've been waiting to see how to add a product. All right, so on the dashboard here, you can go to add a product in the top right corner. You also have a quick link to it right here in the bottom. Um, so all you'll do is uh, when you click on that link, you'll uh, pick which store you want to post products from. So like I said before, either Amazon, AliExpress, or eBay. So I'm going to choose Amazon here. Um, and then what you'll do is uh, you'll search for the products that you want to post, okay? Uh, so you can either choose the specific category that you want to look for products in or just leave it all and then just type in your keywords. So I'm going to type in drone for kids, all right? And then I'm going to search. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go out on Amazon. It's going to search for uh, these drones for kids here. Um, and if I've already imported them, I'm going to see already imported over here to the right. And there's not going to be any check mark boxes available. OK, so what I usually do is I put a check in all, uh, in the check all box up here and then I just uncheck the ones that I don't want. OK, um, so um, I go down through the list and I look and I see, OK, everything looks good. Uh, these are all drones. These are all drones for kids. And uh, then uh, once I'm happy with what I've got, uh, then I choose the category tags and post them. OK, now let's say that uh, you want to check out the products before you post them. All you need to do is click on this view detail button. It'll open this product in the uh, Amazon on the Amazon side of it. And you'll be able to check out how many reviews it has and if it has good reviews uh, so that you are making sure that you're only posting top quality products to your store. OK, so uh, like I said, once I'm happy with what I've got selected, I can go down here and select my category and I can go to drones for kids here. And I can say I want to publish now or you can schedule these to be posted at a later date. Like say if you're going to go in and edit the uh, title description or SEO or any of that, you can schedule it up for a week from now and then that'll give you time to go in and make the adjustments that you need to make. Um, and then you can publish those individually. OK, uh, but I'm just going to publish them right now. So uh, just select now and I can go over here to tags. Let me take away the HD photography drone tag and the racing tag and just leave the kids. And then I'm going to publish. OK, 
So what that's going to do is it's going to automatically publish all of the products that I put a check mark next to into my drone drones for kids category. Okay. So over here in my drones for kids category, now I have all of these drones that I've selected. All right. Uh, so if I go to one of my pages here, I can see that it has automatically curated all of these images, the title, the buy now button, the price, um, the description, tweets, uh, reviews and all that good stuff okay uh, so those are automatically in there uh, for me all those pages are automatically created and I am freed up to um, either add more products or move on to the next category okay so let's say I want to add some more drones for kids to that category all I need to do is go to the next page so I can go to page two and then I can select all um, or you can just individually select these if you choose to I'm just going to select all though um, and maybe this time I want to post some to my subcategory. So I'm going to go with the zero to 50 ones. So any of them that are under $50, I'm going to, uh, leave checked and I'm going to take away all the ones that are not. And it looks like I've got them all. So this time I'm going to select my zero to 50, uh, subcategory, go over to tags. We'll take this out. We'll take that out and I'll publish. Okay. So now this time, if someone were to look in my um, Drones for Kids 0 to 50 category, then they are only going to see drones that are priced from 0 to $50, okay? Um, so like I said before, all these uh, product pages are created for me automatically. It automatically imports all of the uh, really nice looking stuff, all the reviews, all of that good stuff. I do see one that says, sorry, no image available. Um, so this is where being able to go over to the all products uh, tab is really useful. Okay. So I can go over here and it'll show me, um, it'll show me the list of products that I have. Let's see if it's in the last products that I posted here. All right. Let me just see the name of it real quick. I can just copy that. And I'll do a search for it real quick and see if that comes up. All right, looks like that one right there. And I'm just going to check that and delete it. And it's going to ask me if I'm sure. And I'm going to say, yes, do it now. All right, and then refresh and that should be gone. All right, so it's gone now. So if you run into one that says, hey, no image available, it's easy to really uh, go in there and delete it. Or you can just go find the image. Um, since it's so easy to post products, then I just choose to delete them and uh, move on to the next one, unless it's something that I'm really interested in promoting. Okay, so you can see exactly how easy it is to post products to the store. All right, um, so next I want to talk to you about the uh, different settings that you have, and you can get there by clicking on the uh, settings wheel here. Um, and you'll be able to add in your Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress affiliate details in the uh, first tab here under affiliate. Um, then next, you'll be able to go to social, and this is where you'll set up your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram apps to be able to uh, post to those different social networks, all right? So that's uh, pretty easy to do. They even have a button here uh, for you to um, uh, go over and set up those things, okay? Um, and so the next thing we have is our SMO. And this is what will allow you to have your own social pages at the bottom where it says stay connected, okay? Um, so what you would do here is you'll just put in your own um, profile pages here, and uh, that will direct your users to your social platforms, okay? Um, the next thing you have is your social sharing buttons. Now, you can change these at any time. So if you want a different look for them, you just decide what, how you want them to look, and then you click on save. All right, and I'll show you an example of how these uh, how these look here. All right, these are going to pop up on the left side of your product pages over here, so that people can click on them and easily share them to Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus, or Pinterest for you, um, so that you get even more traffic to your site off the visitors that come to your site. Okay. Um, now you will need to go over to display options to make those show up and you'll decide which ones you want to turn on. So I have all of them turned on right now, but if I wanted to turn off LinkedIn and Google and Pinterest, I could only have 
uh, Facebook and Twitter up there, for example, if I wanted to, okay? So uh, it's as simple as hitting those toggle buttons, and then you can see I've only got Facebook and Twitter now. So I want to turn those back on, hit those toggle buttons, and save, and refresh, and now all of those are back over here, okay? All right, so that is how you're going to display your social buttons. The next thing you have is your team management, okay? So team management is very, very simple to use. All you need to do is put in the name and email address of the team member that you want to add. You will then be able to keep them right here in your uh, dashboard, and uh, you'll be able to see who your team members are, the email addresses, what role you have assigned them, and what store you've assigned them to. And then uh, you'll have an action category over here, okay? Um, so you'll be able to easily manage your team right here in the dashboard. All right. Now, let's say that I'm all done with this store and it looks the way I want it to and all that good stuff. And I am ready to create a new store. OK, because I have the unlimited license and I want to create unlimited stores. All right. So what I would do is I'll click on this little picture up here. Um, and there's a number of different options under there. I can go to my profile. I can go set up my business profile. Um and affiliate stores is one that's that's where we're going to go to and then when somebody contacts you from your contact page uh, you get your contact messages they'll all be right here uh, sadly nobody has sent me any messages yet uh, but I'm sure that I will get some sooner or later like I showed you before you can check on your subscription um, at any time see what you're subscribed to see what features you have access to and all that good stuff um, under the subscription tab uh, and then you can become premium and uh, like I showed you it's $27 a month for all the features that you get to unlock um, And monthly updates and all that good stuff Okay, then you can take a look at the update logs just to see what has been updated and rolled out uh, to shop mozo, okay? All right, so uh, like I said, we're going to look at the affiliate stores tab and I'm going to create a new affiliate store All right, so when you first log in this is the same process that you will go through um, and all you'll do is you'll put in your subdomain name. So basically your business name or actually this one's going to be the link that people click on to go to your store. Okay. So, um, you want to make sure, uh, that you put in something good. Okay. So I'm going to put in fashion. All right. And then I'm going to say, Oh, my, that domain already exists. Somebody already took that one. So I'm going to say electronics. Somebody took that one. Uh, you'll need to get in here quick if you want to be able to snatch up some good ones. Okay, so I'm gonna say HDTV There we go, I can do an HDTV one um, And then I can just say HDTV Warehouse All right, then if I have a logo already I can upload it right here, uh, but I don't have one yet So I'm just going to go to save All right now I have another store that I can go ahead and set up and uh, post products too and all that good stuff and start this whole process over again only much quicker this time, right? Uh, so it only took this long because I was showing you each and every feature uh, Down the down the line there, uh, but you can literally set this up in about five to ten minutes You can have another store up and going. Okay, um, so uh, That is it. That's all I have for this shop mozo review. What do you guys think? I mean, let me know in the comment section what you think about this shop mozo review um, and what you think about shop mozo in general, like like I said, it's a cloud-based software You don't need to buy any web hosting. You don't need to buy a domain name uh, You don't have anything to install you just log in and you're ready to set up your own beautiful looking uh, Amazon eBay and Aliexpress affiliate stores very very quickly and uh, if you want to get access to shop mozo right now Then all you need to do is click on the link in the description of this video It's going to take you over to the shop mozo site where you'll be able to get instant access and start putting shop mozo to work for yourself right now okay um so that's it uh feel free to leave me any comments questions or anything else make sure you subscribe to my channel so i can get these uh reviews out to a larger audience who wants to see them uh give me a thumbs up on this review if you liked it and uh i will see you in the next review thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed